We continue with cricket now. Former Proteas batter Justin Antong was appointed the Rocks head coach last week as Boland Boland continue with their upward trajectory. Antong returns to domestic cricket after a stint with the Proteas as fielding coach. Antong succeeds JP Germany, who has joined the Proteas support staff as the head coach in Palm. He joins us now to talk more about his new venture and also his first role as a head coach. A very good afternoon. Welcome to Newsroom Africa. How are you feeling at this moment, a week after the announcement? Firstly, thanks for having me. Um, I'm feeling really excited. I know the season's just around the corner, so can't wait to get going. Does it make you a little bit nervous that uh, the team have had now three different head coaches in the last three seasons? You know, in cricket, anything happens, eh? So people move on, um, the game moves quickly. So, no, it does make me nervous. I think we've got a very good squad, very experienced squad, um, with a lot of senior players and some exciting youngsters that comes in. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge and, and hopefully we can, we can be successful this season and hopefully bring a trophy back home. From your playing days, you immediately went into coaching, but this is going to be your first head coach role. Have you adjusted your mindset yet? And just how much adjustment does there need to be? Yes, it's a big adjustment. Um, a lot of planning that has to go in. Uh, a lot of meetings, um, uh, meetings with the players, meeting with the support staff. Yes, just to plan and how are we going to be successful this season. So, yes, it is a, it is a, a big difference from being a, a player where you just walk onto the field and, <laughs> and play and don't have all these extras uh, in your head. So, yes, but um, it's a, like I said, it's exciting for me and a new challenge. Um, so yes, um, hopefully I can um, make a difference within the GBETS Paul Rocks team and, and hopefully we can go all the way. How much weight do you feel on your shoulders because you also are returning home to Paul? So uh, you're the local man that is now uh, carrying the hopes of the side. Yes, um, yeah, I do feel a little bit nervous <laughs> to be honest. I think it's just a natural feeling. It's almost like in, back in my playing days, but um, it's an exciting uh, nervous feeling that you're getting. So, so I just can't wait to, to see all the boys um, and really connect with them and, and really create an environment where everyone can feel welcome and, and, and just be their own character and just go and express themselves on the field. What is going to be your main vision for the team, other than, of course, winning matches? Uh, we know that the team have struggled a little bit in the, the Red Bull format, haven't won more than just one trophy in the young team's tenure. What is going to be your top three priorities? I think firstly is to try and create an environment where um, everyone has the trust of, of all the support staff, players have the respect with, uh, between one another. So that's important for me. And then, and then obviously to play a brand of cricket, we, we keep our, our fans and our stakeholders, we keep them happy. That is, that is also very important. And just, um, um, yes, to create a good fan base where people come to Paul. I think, I think over the last couple of years, Paul has really stood out um, in, in South Africa in terms of cricket and uh, we see how beautiful ground it is so and just create those opportunities for youngsters that come through the pipeline in, in, in Poland so we can uh, create some world beaters and and, and and young talent to go go further and play for, for South Africa, the Proteus. So yeah, that, those are the, the, the vision that I have for, for the team and then hopefully is to create, like I said, to create that environment where everyone can just be themselves and and enjoy the game. That's why we played it in the first place, just for that enjoyment. Yeah. What is your home venue looking like, considering all of the rain, the horrific floods that we've actually seen in the Cape Winelands? I don't think we have to complain about rain. The rain is, <laughs> the, the field looks quite good. Uh, it looks very green and very lush. Um, there is obviously a little bit of water on it, um, but the draining system, uh, we've spent, um, uh, the, the ground staff has spent a lot of time and effort into uh, repairing that, uh, making sure that the drainage is good. So I don't see any foresee any problems. And, and the season, when the season starts, the ground should be beautiful. 
What are your first impressions of the squad and what are you guys doing at the moment in preparation for the season? At the moment, there's, like I said, there's a lot of planning going on. We've got a few guys that are overseas and, and um, this week is probably just planning and then the next, next week we, we're probably going to start with some skill work. But so far the guys have been in the gym and doing their fitness and, and trying to build a base to get ready for, for the season. Keegan Peterson and Glenn Searman, I believe they're part of the team going uh, for the season ahead. Yes, really excited. Um, Keegan is a, is a local boy. It's good to have him back. Um, he spent some time with the Proteas. Um, had a very good series against India. So we welcome that experience and, and also his local knowledge. Um, and he's got some good leadership skills. Glenton is a, is a Wiley customer, um, bowls very well. Um, so, yeah, if, if he can make some early inroads um, into the opposition, that will put us into a strong position. But those two really um, bring a lot, of, uh, um, a lot of character and a lot of um, leadership to, towards our team. So I'm really excited to, to see them back in our team. And, Coach, are you going to be taking control of the Royals team as well as the Rocks team? No, just, so far it's just the GBETS Paul Rocks that I've, I'll be, I'll be uh, leading. Um, I've got no idea who's going to be involved with the Royals at this stage. What is your reading of the domestic game at the moment? We've seen uh, a couple of changes to the top tier and the second tier of domestic cricket in the country. We've had a wildly successful SA20 competition. Your take on the current health of domestic cricket? I think we're on an upward curve. Um, as you see, as the, the introduction of the, the SA20, it's going to give a lot of opportunity to a lot of youngsters and hopefully financially that will uh, give us a big boost as well so we can put some good structures in place for those youngsters to even come through stronger so um, I think I think the standard of cricket is going to improve over the next couple of years so that's a really exciting period for us. Justin Antong, the new coach of The Rocks down in the Boerland area, thank you so much for your time here on Newsroom Africa and all the best of luck in this new role. Thanks for having me, thank you.